What up? What up, guys? This is, uh... Hey, yo, what up, guys? This is the Empty Tomb here. And uh, I'm just going to do a quick uh, unboxing video for you guys. And I'll be unboxing a video game that's dear to my heart. As you can see, uh, I've been playing this as part 7. Uh, it's an awesome game. And I was going to do a quick opening of Final Fantasy 15, the Deluxe Edition. And I'm going to do it on the uh, Final Fantasy 15 Strategy Guidebook. This is the hardcover, so uh, I don't know what's the main difference between this and the soft, but yeah, let's get to it. <clears throat> so first of all, I, I ordered the deluxe edition just because I was like, I was so hyped up, but then um, it sucks because the deluxe edition does not come with a season pass. All right, so if you want the full game, because they're gonna be releasing DLC, I'm I'm not sure what it is. Maybe extra maps, maybe extra uh gear or weapons or clothing. I don't know. But then, uh, basically, they said that, um, they told me that the Deluxe Edition, the only reason why it's Deluxe, just because it comes with the, the, uh, the King's Glaive Final Fantasy movie. And, um, yeah, let's check it out. Alright, let me open this real quick. Dude, I hate this stuff, man. What I hate opening more is, like, when you buy CDs... And those cases are super duper hard to like get the uh, plastic off. <clears throat> All right. So yeah, it comes with like a clear case on the front, which like has all the advertisement. The back is clear, which is kind of cool, but this is the actual case right here. I open it up. And this is how it looks like the full case so like if you want to put this on display or put this on your wall or something you could definitely just throw this right on your wall somewhere just like you know it looks kind of cool and on the inside is the game and the uh and what you get with the dunks edition is you get the um uh, <clears throat> mercy weapon wait oh the mass immunity uh sword and you also get the royal the real DLC costume, the Leviathan skin for the car, which, I don't know, I don't think it was worth the uh, 80 bucks, but who knows, oh, what the heck is this, I guess it's like a cover, from the Final Fantasy 15 team, it's like autographs, all their different, all their different autographs, <coughs> the front is kind of cool too. It's the full front, and then like I don't know why they put TBT like Throwback Thursday or something. I don't know. It's a bunch of different autographs. Some of them are like in Japanese or like different languages. I don't know Chinese, whatever. I don't know. I don't know what the heck language they speak. But what else? What else is in here? Oh yeah, that's about it. And now it's like the little the mini Final Fantasy 15 booklet. Alright, it comes with the official guide, or it can come. Yeah. And it comes with the, uh, World of Final Fantasy. I don't know what this is. This is like the, uh... Oh, you see what happened? This is October 25th. That was, that was last month, but I think what was happening was, uh, since they pushed back the game or something, they must have... This packet was supposed to be coming in with the uh, original game, but I guess they pushed back the date to later. And then you get this junk. Then you see the uh, the Final Fantasy 13, the Zodiac Age, or 12, I meant 12, Final Fantasy 12. This game, the story was the dumbest story of all Final Fantasy I've played so far, but. The gameplay was alright because you could just like literally sit there and leave your controller and it'll just sit there and fight by itself. It will know when to heal. It'll have like its own computer AI that you could set up for him. When his HP gets lower, it'll just automatic heal and stuff, which I thought was alright. I didn't really like it. Available now on PlayStation Network. I am Setsuno. I don't know what the heck that is. But yeah. 
Dragon Quest Builders and Final Fantasy 14 Online. Yeah. A bunch of just like advertisement. So, alright, now here is the beast part, okay? So, the DVD is on this side, and then the game is on this side. So, you get to watch the movie and get to see about Noctis' dad and about how he defended whatever town he was in and he, like, saved them. Which, I don't know what happened because I didn't watch the movie. I just had a little short summary of it, which is pretty cool. And then, I'm not going to give you guys a review on the game. You guys can just look it up because, um, yeah. Alright, that was the game. Oh, damn. Well, that was the game, yeah. <clears throat> Let me put this away real quick. I don't know how I'm going to feel about this game. I love turn base. You know, it's kind of like how people crave that tactic style game. And, and it continues to make different tactic style. But I love that turn based game where, like, uh, you know, if you're faster, you actually attack more than the other player does. Or enemy. <clears throat> All right, so here is the uh, the complete official guide of Final Fantasy 15. This is the collector's edition. What it comes with is uh, the Japanese game cover art as an exclusive, and a 32-page art gallery, a map poster, and a premium hardcover printed on superior quality quality art paper. All right, so I guess you just get like some posters and some pictures. Right. And let me just open this up real quick. It's taking way too long. Alright, so I'm glad this was not stuck on the back of the book because that would have looked whack. But it shows you just like a little short summary of what it comes with. <clears throat> I'm sick, guys. And so, um, yeah, the back of this black, which I think was cool. They should make more hardcovers because if Final Fantasy X, I don't think I got the hardcover. I don't think it came with one, but if it did, I wish I would have had it so that I could build like my Final Fantasy like guidebook, you know, like a like a bookcase. Which I don't I don't read books. I like to look at pictures. All right. Oh, I don't know. I want the creases that bad. All right. So, all right. Here's here's the map. This map looks huge. All right. Oh my gosh, my nose is so runny. Alright, so this is a pretty beastly looking map so far. Holy crap, this is bigger than Grand Theft Auto San Andreas, dude. Look at this. Biome! It probably doesn't even fit the screen. Alright. Comes with this big old poster, which I'm probably gonna put in my wall here. In my room. Soon, whenever I find uh, some of those tape that doesn't like tear stuff up. I'm looking for some beastly like tape that like doesn't ruin stuff. Which I don't think there is any yet. Yeah, which is a cool map. It has like a legend on it showing like, oh yeah, this is where you get this map. <coughs> Alright, I'm sick. Uh, I feel like dookie. Ooh, another thing in the front. Oh, okay, so this is that art that they were going to give out, okay? And this art, it's not bad. They should have autographed it. If they would have autographed this, this would have been sweet, but they didn't. Um, instead of autographing that little whack cover, they should have did this. Look, bam! <clears throat> Alright, so straight up, I'm going to take that straight up right now, man. I feel like I'm not going to like this game because the characters. The characters, you know... They just don't seem that cool to me. I'm also used to like that awesome character like uh, X23 or or um, freaking Cat Smith or and, and uh, Kimari. Like Kimari is part of one of my favorite characters. Even Fran from Final Fantasy XII. Like Fran, like I like those beasts like Khajiit from Skyrim like type characters like those. They belong in every single Final Fantasy game. If they do, they don't have a character like that. Like to me, I'm just like, I just get you know kind of pissed off because it's like, what's a Final Fantasy game without a character like Kamari or Fran or X twenty three? 
<laughs> but this is the first cover, side of the cover. It's not this and the homie. I don't know what the heck that guy's name is. I don't know yet. I haven't played the game yet. I haven't heard nothing yet. And then there's freaking uh, Gay Cloud and um, who the heck is this guy? Freaking douchebag big brother of Noctis. I'm thinking, I don't know. He just looks like it. I don't know. Alright. Forward. Whatever. Hibbity blue blah. Alright, so, uh. The arts in this game is pretty beast. Here's like a quick glimpse of what, uh. This is the homie's dad. I don't know who the heck this guy is. As far as his dad, let me look another cool picture and show you guys. Alright, see that? This is like pretty much what the map, like, you know, like this is like Google Earth to that big map, you know, where you can zoom down and, and look at each building. You know, this is pretty much the Google Earth of that big map that they give us, which is pretty sweet. This chapter nine. I don't know why this chapter is. Hopefully the game is not a chapter. So you can go back to the original old place and and meet up old like characters that you met in the game. Because if you can't do that, that's gonna be kinda whack, you know. Like Final Fantasy Seven, you can go back to every single town and meet certain people, like, you know, different things. But yeah, hopefully it's not chaptered like freaking other other dumb games. I don't know, but right? As you can see. Yeah, it's like a Google Earth version of it, which is pretty cool. Oh, you know what this character is. You know who this character is. This is uh, Leviathan, the serpent from uh, Final Fantasy VIII, if I can remember. <clears throat> which is pretty cool. I don't know. I lied to you guys. See, look, here's another Google image of, Google Earth image of what that map looked like. We're here. Bam. <coughs> you see that? Bam. All right. Yeah, so uh, it's part two. Man, my battery died. So I had to, like, ch ch charge it. Yeah, just a quick overview of what you're going to get, you know. Basically, you guys seen everything already, and then, like, this is all the information and stuff, and, like, it's cool. Who, 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 look how beast this guy looks. Oh, man. These are, like, some of the enemies you're gonna meet up. Of course, you're gonna meet, like, duplicates of each. Like, this is, like, a part of a weaker version, a stronger, and, like, the strongest version, and then, like, you know, you're gonna meet, like, a bunch of, like, uh, freaking... A freaking muck. There's like a muck in the game. It's the Lohan version of it. The Lohan version of muck. Let me zoom in. Let me, let me get a better clear view. The Lohan. This is a regular muck. This is the regular muck. And this is like the shiny version. This is Grimer and Ghastly over there. The different Lohan version. Yeah. So pretty much. That's about it. It's all good, but all right. Meet my uh, meet the homies real quick. And so, this is my small little Spider Man collection. This collection is not based off of like strictly Spider Man, but these are like based off the uh, the old 90s uh, cartoon version and um, and the newer stuff that I like because I add Doctor Strange in here because he was in the original show and back in the 90s and um. He was there when uh when the Raja Go or whatever, Jack Mary Jane and Mem and uh Change Your Memory or Mind Controlled her, yeah, he mind controlled her and she was flying around like what? Flying around, you know, Spider Man couldn't keep up. And so yeah, this is like the original Spider Man. This is Iron Spider Man, Black Suit Spider Man, Spider Man two thousand nine, this anti venom. Alright, this size like mostly the evil guys like that uh, like uh, Dr. Octopus, Carnage, Green Goblin, Venom, Taskmaster. Taskmaster was like, straight up. Taskmaster is probably the best 
hand-to-hand -hand combat guy ever. This guy had carries a freaking sword, and he also has a shield, like uh, Captain America. But I don't think he's that strong. I think he's made out of uranium. I'm not sure. But Taskmaster is no joke, dude. He's part of one of my favorite characters ever. And he, can, and he wears that skull mask and that hood. You know. Well, Alright, y'all. This is G. I'm checking out. <clears throat> my gamer tag, you want to add me on PS4, is uh, GB Nasty. And uh, my YouTube page is called Empty Tune. So, you know. If you like my channel, subscribe. If you don't, don't subscribe. Dislike it. If you like it, like it. If you hate the video, comment below what you hated about it. You know, and uh, if you really liked it, you know, comment down below. Like, hey, man, I like your videos. <coughs> Sick again, but yeah. Um. All right, yeah. Peace out.